rest of the day, you need to breathe through your nose, especially when you're running. Because when you're breathing through your mouth, you're running, you're exerting so much more energy. You are raising your heart rate, you're causing your body to work harder to give less. And there have been decades and decades of studies. Well, good morning. <laughs> it's fairly early on Sunday, the 23rd of August, 2020. And we're on the way to run around the village of Messi in Essex, UK. In spite of being a small village, Messi has deep connections with the United States of America. So uh, we're just arriving in Messi now. I hope you enjoy the run. Right, good morning. Uh, I'm out this morning in Messing. Uh, there's the church behind me that you can see. Uh, Messing's a, a small village near Tiptree in Essex, UK. Uh, it's got about 300 inhabitants at the moment and uh, it has its one uh, major claim to fame and that is that uh, the ancestor of the Bush presidents of the United States uh, left here in 1631 for America on board the ship Lion I believe. This morning we're going to do a, a little route which um, is not very long it's only five or six miles and uh, it should take in uh, some of the fields around Messing and uh, also a couple of woods and uh, a, an ancient monument. Okay so uh, let's go and do it. Now the church itself um, was apparently built from the rubble of a Roman villa. The tower of course is a later addition uh, but it's uh, around a 14th century church. rather nice cottages tucked away here is the footpath slight chill in the air this morning Look at that oak. Gosh. Well, I guess Reynold Bush could have seen this tree. That's been there a while. That comment I heard the other day about the oak. I think it takes 200 years to grow, 200 years to thrive or to live, and 200 years to die. Our footpath goes here down this track yeah nice bit of countryside not uh, obviously at its best here in the shade another American connection is that these concrete tracks were built by the United States Air Force in World War II as part of Birch Airfield hey you're just following the track round now uh, we're looking for a footpath on the left hand side. Continue around here. <coughs> okay, still on this track, but climbing up now. Here comes the sun. Well, oh, what a difference!
Clearly marked going around to the right. Now at the moment this uh, might look like a tour of concrete tracks. And when we get down to the bottom of this one and cross the road, uh, things definitely start looking up. Right then, and now out onto the, I don't know, what is it, B1022 or something. It is a busy road. Uh, but we're looking for a footpath over on the left hand side right just before the bend there here's the footpath and it's quite hidden away lovely And uh, we are now in layer wood. And now we can begin to enjoy ourselves a bit. Lovely bit of woodland and the advantage here is that this footpath takes us right through to the end. Well, I don't know too much about this wood. Uh, I think it's been here for quite some time. Crossing over another track here. Well, in fact, joining another track here, but we're not going to be deterred from our route. Yeah, footpath sign there, always encouraging. Uh, looking at a video of yourself running is uh, a good idea certainly uh, you'll not the sleek high-speed athlete that you are in your mind since I started running close to 40 years ago now I've had this tendency to throw my right foot out and uh, not lift it up very much from the ground and uh, this has led to most of my trips I think very hard to change those habits now but uh, when I think of it I do try to lift my right leg up a bit higher if I can Ooh. right down to the end of this rather nice path through layer wood uh, footpath tells us, sign tells us that we go straight on so uh, we're going around here right so we come out onto Haynes Green Road watching out for cyclists who tend to whiz round here and we're looking for a footpath now on our right hand side literally just past this keeper's cottage here is the footpath uh, across a footbridge okay and there's the footpath side telling us we've got to go right here and uh, crossing over this field I've been across here before when uh, the crop in the field was some sort of giant peas and it was like uh, wading through the, the jungle uh, see if I can find a picture of that Here then to the left obviously okay, clear 
see the footpath goes down here. Let's just stray off the footpath just for a moment and uh, have a look up here. It's an ancient earthworks here known as the Rampart. The rumour is that uh, this is one of the areas where Boudicca's tribes had a battle with the Romans. We're just walking along these ancient earthworks, you sort of get a feeling for the people who were here before who built them. And this is uh, thought to be definitely way pre-Roman. Probably a bit more impressive over the other side there. One theory is that Messing got its name from Anglo-Saxon trampled field uh, to indicate really that this was where a battle took place. Well, it's certainly an ancient place and I don't know, you could let your imagination run away with you here. Just have a little jog along the top of this rampart here and show a little respect for the people who built it. Well, we've come off the ramparts and uh, we want to do a left here and now round to the right. OS map, this app is uh, quirky but it does have its uses. But I did go wrong when I came off the ramp up there and would have followed the wrong footpath. Right and round here there's a, an easily missed foot, footpath off into the woods. There we go. We follow the footpath side. We're heading back now towards Messing. Uh, I've got about 3.8 miles on the watch. Okay, at this point then we cross a track. So it's track going left and right. And we carry straight on down here. Right, now we're back onto the, what is it, B1022, I think. And uh, not quite so busy at the moment, so we can cross straight over here onto this footpath. Need to be a bit careful if you're jogging along here. It's a bit rough underfoot. Usually when I say that, I'll fall over. Right, and then we come out. Right, so out onto the road. Now this is the road back into Messing, but we're going to do a little diversion. So we're going to look for a footpath on the right hand side along here. actually here so very easily missed right so into this field for just a short distance and then into another wood can be confusing through here right so I'm going to use the the app to guide me through here. 
It's not a head on track at the moment. Pretty impressive looking Scots pines there. Let me come out of the wood and uh, onto a footpath. Right here to the left. So around here to the right. And we come out into the road in Messing. Yes, we've got to go this way to get back home. Yeah, there's a church tower in front of us. So that was a, a little look around Messing. Um, my watch says 5.63 miles. So uh, around about five miles if you're thinking about doing it without the messing about with cameras and things. All right, I hope you enjoyed the outing. And uh, as always, if you did, uh, you could subscribe if you wanted to. And uh, certainly join me for some more walks and runs jogs, whatever you like to call them, around Essex. Bye.